So the application has now downloaded onto the device and it's now installing and we're going to open it, click the sign in agreement. Now we're going to sign in, it's using the default so we just click sign in. And now it's authenticated, now we get to the dashboard so now we need to get some data. So we're going to get a token, now we're going to get some server data, we need to get some defaults here. So we're going to import that and we'll just wait while that's loading. Then we can click on the breadcrumb at the top back to server. Now we go to server data for the estates. Now we've got three estates there. We'll click the active plan one. We'll go to the default site and we'll get a building there, which is the one of the Revit examples, which we've converted into Kobe. And we've clicked import and each of the sections are downloading. So we just have to wait for this process. Last thing to come down, the photographs and then the maintenance tasks. There aren't any maintenance tasks. Now we can go back to the dashboard and there it's now set as the default building. So we click on the building, some information. If we just click on any image and we can zoom into the image. On a tablet you get the little icon up there. You won't get that on the phone. We go to a floor. So this is the floors directly out of Revit. So it's outputted all those floors. So we've clicked on the lounge space, go to the lounge space, it shows us which space we're in. Look at the asset types that are there, we've got some doors and windows, there's one of my doors. And then we can go back to the dashboard and go and get another building. So we're going to get the BRE building, so this time we go to the BRE estate, then we go to the Bucknell Lane site, and we've only got one building in there at the moment. So we'll do the same thing again, we'll import. Now this is going to take a little bit longer. So what's happening is each of the sections are getting downloaded. And you'll notice by each of the sections there's a blue button. So you can download and update just that section. And this does take a while, so we have to just be patient and wait. And we'll skip to the end. So now we're at the end, just loading up the photographs. Each one of those there aren't any maintenance tasks in here that's all loaded so let's click back to the dashboard click to the building there's the photograph of the building and we'll go to floors and we've got three floors in this building there's the ground floor so we can use our fingers to pinch zoom in we can click on a space let's use our fingers to pinch zoom in and as we click on a space we can get the information about that space and move to the space. So they produced a video of uh, an animation of their building. So we've used stills out of there. And now we've gone to that space and we can look and filter by the different asset types that are in that space. We've got a series of attribute assets and we can filter by the assets. A lot of these attributes haven't been filled in part for the course. If we have a look at the space now we can look at the instances of those. Again we can filter by the different types of assets and there we can see we've got the asset type on the right and the asset instance on the left. And that just about concludes this getting started to download your first building. Thank you for watching.